Hi, good afternoon. Um, my name is Jim Fitzpatrick. I'm um, happy to do this demonstration here today to support Sheikh Hasina, the Bangladeshi Prime Minister, and her government, both in their attempts to deal with Islamist fundamentalism and terrorist violence, which needs to be stamped out not only in Bangladesh, but right across the world, but also to welcome the economic progress that Bangladesh is making to become a middle-income country by 2020. Bangladesh has made fantastic progress over the past 20 years, and we want to see that continuing. So uh, I hope that uh, Sheikh Hasina and the Bangladesh government can continue to do that, and I hope they continue to deal with the terrorism inside Bangladesh, against Bangladeshi citizens, but against foreign visitors to the country as well. Thank you very much. Well, thank you.
we have to decide yet. Yeah. But my, my role is Minister for Disarmament. That's what Jeremy called it. And he said Disarmament. We are for peace. And I know, I know you are. We are for peace. Yeah, so two days later I got a phone call from Jeremy Corbyn. So that was Congratulations. And congratulations. Well, Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! <laughs> hip hip hooray. But it, doesn't, it doesn't mean much unless the government listens to us, I'm afraid. Means, uh, we're, we're, we're the opposition. People. But uh, this is a very important move by the leader of our party yeah. because he says there's no equivalent job in the government. Yeah. And he says, Mr. Peace and Disarmament, I don't shadow any government minister. No. Uh, it's a new role. Yeah. And it's a very, very important role. And it, it will involve not only trying to stop arms sales, but it will, it will also involve the non-proliferation treaty of nuclear weapons uh, to try and uh, support the comprehensive test ban treaty. So it's all the big things like nuclear weapons, which doesn't affect Bangladesh. I know, except insofar as India and Pakistan have got these terrible weapons, and China, of course. So you're surrounded by them. But more importantly, it is about peace, bringing peace to the world's trouble spots. Uh, whether that's Kashmir, whether that's Palestine, Israel, whether that's in... Burma or, or Taiwan and yeah. China, it doesn't matter where it yeah. is, we want to see peace and of course Syria yeah. uh, and the Middle East is in a terrible state at the moment. Um, but more importantly for Bangladesh, it means trying to encourage dialogue and discussions, trying to bring people together, trying to encourage equality, trying, trying to encourage um, acceptance and secularism. Exactly. Now people think that secularism means that we're not in favour, what we're in favour of is ensuring that everybody that has a, has a faith, and even if they don't have a faith, they are accepted too as human beings. So that's what we think secularism means. It's not anti-religion and it's not anti-belief. It's about belief in humanity and the good work, the importance of, of the Almighty. So we, the Labour Party view is that we support any leadership in Bangladesh that will bring peace and prosperity to its people and stop political violence yeah. and stop the attack on secularism. And you will know, and my friends here from Leeds will know, the work that I've done with the cultural aspects of Bengali and Bangladeshi culture. Uh, the Bangla Music Festival, the Sauda Poetry and Music Festival. Um, these things are really important in bringing people together. And as long as Sheikh Hasina's government and the Awami League supports that diversity, then we will always support them. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a, it's a pleasure. It's very, thank you for waiting. I know you apologize. Last motto is with British MPs, with British civilians, unexpected balance. We all want to say no to violence. Can you say that? Absolutely. So, one, two, three. No to violence. No to terrorism. No to terrorism. But I have studied Islam and I have read the, the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And my understanding is that Islam is a religion of harmony, of peace, of valuing all mankind and the creations of the Lord Almighty. Uh, and that we must not, we must not do violence to each other in the name of Islam or any other faith for that matter. And we must respect those who respect other people. We must respect human beings of all backgrounds, of all faiths because there is only one God. And this is really very important, that secularism, multiculturalism, and the valuing of our culture, whether it's music or poetry, whether it's architecture or art, is important to every human being. It's what makes us who we are. And what you have brought as the people from originally from Bangladesh, yes. now British, yes. is invaluable to the rest of British people who are not from a Bangladeshi yes. background. We are part of you, you are part of us, and that's the way it should be. Yeah. That's what makes this country great. You do and we do together. Thank All you. Of us.